Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting. American Craft Beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Oh, we have a kick beer, baby. Woo, wait till you hear the specs on this one. Heretic Brewing Company. Now they're located in Fairfield, California, and this is the Evil Cousin Double IPA. Not for lightweights, not for beginners. Checks in at 8% alcohol by volume, but the IBUs are a whopping. 100, baby. <laughs> the best part about this beer is it's only 32 days old. 32 days. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. Fresh beer. Got to have fresh beer. And I've had this probably about 10 days or so in my fridge. So it was a lot fresher when I first bought it. But I rotate the beers. First in, what? First out. Yeah. Like the accountants, right? Not first in, last out. Oh, we want FIFO. First in, first out. We got this lovely glassware that I have recently washed and rinsed out. Don't forget, if your glasses are clean and they're in the cabinet, always rinse them with cold water. It doesn't have to be ice cold, just cool water, not hot. All right, then. That does what Dr. Dave says. That's Dr. Dave's. Tip of the day, besides staying out of dark alleys at night. No doubt, baby. You don't want to go in dark alleys at night, even if there's free beer in there. Not unless you have a few friends with you. Mr. Smith and Wesson, Mr. Sig Sauer. Yeah, guys like that. Well, this is a very clear pour, refreshingly, for a double IPA, because I've seen so many hazy IPAs recently. This is crystal clear. Got lively carbonation streaming up from the bottom. It's a very lovely copper gold. We'll say gold, copper, copper, gold. Mm. Well, if it's jewelry, you want gold. If it's beer, it could be copper gold, no doubt. Made a very small amount of uh, head, very thin white head. It's a very good looking beer. I think we should get some aroma. Oh, baby. Man, that's some lovely citrus and pine. Oh, man, and some bready malts in there, too. I think this is going to be a damn fine beer. I'd like to thank the brewers there at Heretic Brewery out there in California for all the hard work they put into producing this beer so guys like me could enjoy it. And for you at home, cheers, too. Oh, man. I tell you what, for 8% and 100 IBUs, this is a damn smooth, well-balanced beer, baby. Mmm, you got that nice bitter finish working in there, though. Right up front, though, mmm, get that lovely citrus and pine. Oh, is that good. Nice, sweet, bready malts there in the mid-palate. And then, booyah, you get that nice bitter hop finish. Oh, this is a well-balanced beer, very drinkable, very crushable indeed. Wow, 8%. I'm telling you, some, some brewers can hide that alcohol and other ones. I don't know if they can hide it, but they, they choose to uh, put it right up front. Heretic evil cousin, look, look at him, he says, come and party with our cousin. He's the devil. He's the devil. It's devil beer. There is a, a couple of beers named after the devil. I can't sit here and recall them offhand. I had one from Belgium. Oh, that was a devil of a beer. That was something like 14%. Yeah, baby. Good beer from Belgium. If I ever go to Belgium, most likely I would never return to the States. <laughs> I find some way to stay in Belgium, baby. Plus, they don't have all this craziness that's going on in the States right now, trying to burn down cities and attack police officers and 
burning down federal courthouses. What the hell is going on in America? Hey, as long as they don't attack the breweries. Now, when these crazy terrorists, excuse me, begin to attack the, the breweries, you're going to see the militias come out in full force. Don't F around with the beer. Back to the beer, though. Oh, man. This, this, this has fabulous aroma, great taste. What, I don't know what else you'd want from a beer. Yeah, that's, that's what beer drinking is all about. Yeah, yeah. This would be a very good choice for an introductory IPA for someone who shuns craft beer for whatever reason. They like to drink that Coors Light and Miller and, and all those other BMC, Budweiser, Miller, Coors. Yeah, BMC. Yeah, I, I just don't understand why people want to drink those cheap adjunct lagers and, and then be sick the next day or later that night. This is made with quality ingredients. There's no fillers in here. There's no preservatives. That's why it's got a date stamp on it. You ever look at the date stamps on some of those BMC beers? They're off into the future. Uh, best before December of 2021. Oh, we're still in 2020. What are you, what are you talking about, bro? Well, you mean this beer is good for 18 months? No problem. Uh-oh. I beat a very recent sign there. Oh, oh You can't even say okay anymore without getting in trouble. Hey, that's okay, man. That's okay. I predict a few more years that, that uh, that'll be gone. People won't say okay like that anymore. Okay, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dr. Dave highly recommends this medium body beer. Very, very tasty. You won't believe you're drinking 8% and 100 IBUs, although you can get that nice, lovely, bitter, hot finish in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to have to see if I can find some more of those beers. They, they were available in Northeast Ohio for a long time. They disappeared. And happily now, I see they've come back. So, yeah, I don't know. If it was a problem with the distributor or what happened, but uh, hey, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to enjoy good craft beer. Because remember, Dr. Dave says life is short. Yeah, short, short. Dr. Dave says life is short. Dr. Dave says life is short. Be happy. Cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charged me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. 
Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month, and there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.